The long stretch of the road from ROCC Junction to Ogege Community Junction was in a sorry state when government house press crew visited. When the news of the blockade of the Benin Sapler Road by elders and youths of Ogege Community filtered into government house, Governor Baseki, who was receiving visitors on a courtesy visit, quickly cut short the engagement and went to the scene with some members of the state executive council. The governor and his entourage were confronted with a protest by elders and and youth of the community who took over the road to press on their demands. It was gathered that the road has been blocked for several days, thereby obstructing vehicular movement to the state. According to the spokesperson for the community, Daniel Omoregbe, although the road is a federal government road, several letters written to relevant agencies in charge of the road have yielded no results. He said the road has become a nightmare to them, especially when they want to take their words to school. Last time we went to our SSG office, we laid a complaint concerning this road. We wrote to FEMA, to the council chairman then, as of assembly, as of rep, to Senate. All this with a reminder letters. We even wrote to Fashola, the minister for walls and houses. We even wrote a reminder letter to him, up to Nassau. With due respect, nothing is going on. Nothing. Our children go for school from 1 o'clock. But they will get to 1.30. They will get to my house 7.30, 8 in the night. Before you go to school in the morning, you woke up as early as 4 o'clock. And the children are too small for that. So we are going to stress. We are a uh, dope people, sir. Worried by the worsening condition of the road, Governor Gordon Obaseki, who said he can no longer wait for the federal government while his people wallowed in pain, promised to move the state contractors to site on Tuesday. I accept that the rains have been falling, but it's almost one week now that the rains stopped falling. What have you people done? I hope we are not playing politics with federal roads. I hope you are not playing politics with federal roads. You have where what who are the contractors you gave them to? They don't have name. Who are they? Eh? Grey youths. Let me make a promise to you. Without federal government, we will survive. Tomorrow, I will bring my contractors here. I will bring my contractors here. Just promise me one thing. Open up the roads. I will bring the contractors. I will bring the contractors. You, you and your youth leaders, you will protect them. Let them rehabilitate this stretch from, from bypass to uh, from RCC. They will start work tomorrow. They will start work tomorrow. It is the expectations of the youth and elders of Ogege community and environs that the state governor, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, will match his words with action. Patience, Osaogiwa reporting.